welcome back to my channel this is mizuki arts today we are going to be doing a little paint with me and this one's very special because this painting ended up being a collage which is something i've been recently kind of experimenting with for those of you who don't know or have never watched my videos before i used to be really really into paper dolls when i was little and uh, that has leaked into my artwork in many ways um, and this is just another way that i've gotten to explore my love of paper little items and details on a page we are interrupting this regularly scheduled program to tell you to go check out my Etsy shop. Since fairies have overtaken my sketchbook and my life, my shop has become the ultimate fairy lover's dream. With products ranging from stickers, pins, and prints to original paintings, I've got it all. All of my stickers are printed on waterproof vinyl, and my prints are on high quality, durable, matte photo paper. So if you're watching this video, there's probably a fairy that's perfect for you. Whether you're looking for stickers, prints, paintings, or pins, head to www.etsy.com slash shop slash studio. Now that that's over with, let's get into the video. I know it's only been like a few weeks since I recorded my last paint with me um, and I've done videos in between but it is kind of funny uh, because it just it feels like it's been so long uh, and I think it's partially because of when I got sick like a few weeks ago and like couldn't work at all um, and now I've got to like you know jump back in and, and maybe make up for some lost time a little bit. I've definitely got to build back up my stash of like uh, videos to rec to voice over um, for YouTube because uh, it's it's midterms right now and it feels like it's been midterms for a while now because like these projects just go on and on and on and every class has their own definition of what a midterm is because I'm an art major I guess and some classes are heavier than others and some don't slow down at all after midterms I, I don't know but anyway that's the current chaos of my world <laughs> but anyways i've been really enjoying playing with collage in my paintings recently um i haven't really explored it very much in my like youtube paint with me's um it just hasn't come up yet and there is like a little bit of like a buffer uh obviously by a few weeks before uh my videos like like between uh when i record them and when they end up getting released so um I i'm surprised at this point or i guess i'm not surprised i'm just like realizing how how long of a buffer it is um between like recording videos and then voicing over them uh simply because i've been doing some collage for like a few weeks now and i'm not only doing collage paintings like uh collaging my artwork but i am experimenting with it and i've done a few now um and this is the only one that i actually like recorded for youtube um obviously i record clips from all of my paintings for like instagram reels and stuff like that but i'm not always uh sitting at my de desk to record for youtube um so it's kind of funny that it, it took me so long to finally get to see something that like i've been uh working with for like a few weeks and finally like realized uh how how long it actually takes like to get this stuff together and maybe that sounds strange to say because i do work on like multiple videos at any given time um i rework them and it gives me a chance to like make things better before they end up uploaded and i upload weekly so <laughs> um things definitely you know they shift around and my focus shifts between projects um so it's just kind of funny that it's shocked me and sorry for the lighting change here um my i don't know why i changed it maybe my eyes were bothering me i don't know um i i have been having a lot of migraines lately but that's not really anything new um <laughs> i pretty much had them daily for like a while now or at least daily migraine symptoms not necessarily like you know i'm in bed or lying around or not working very much because of migraines you know like I, I still get up and do stuff but you know I have I have it impacted by migraine pain which is not fun so maybe that's why I did that I don't really remember 
Um, but I do apologize if that uh, alters the viewing experience at all. I will say I'm like very happy that I tried collage because I was kind of feeling like my paintings were looking a little bit samey for a while there. Um, I mean, you know, I, I like what I do. I like painting fairies. I love my art style and everything. Um, but I did feel like some of the like hairstyles and clothing pieces that I would choose to paint were looking like similar and the compositions were very similar. Um, but I am happy to incorporate collage because it is such like a hands-on thing and I get to save pieces that I paint uh, for collages. So now like I have like a little bag going of collage pieces. In an art vlog that I uploaded a few weeks ago, I did make collage pieces. Um, you guys just didn't see like where those ended up and I still do have tons of those saved away for future works. I'm certain those will pop up eventually and hopefully in a YouTube video, that'd be really fun. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know if any of those are in this collage though. I don't think so, but I, like, I could be wrong. Um, I think the ones that I made in that video were like lots of little strawberries and like, uh, I don't know, like little cinnamon buns and things. I actually think I did use some cinnamon buns and like the mini strawberries. Never mind. I really, I thought I didn't. I thought I made all new pieces for this, but I probably didn't. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, like I was probably way too excited to use those and then probably immediately started working on this one. Um, it has been a few weeks now, so I don't quite recall. But yeah, that's the one thing I found uh, when working with collage. It's like I make these really, like, in my opinion, very special pieces. And then I make some pieces that I'm like not as enthusiastic about. Um, and then I'm like really, really excited about using the ones that I really love and I can't wait to stick them on a painting and I want to find the perfect spot for it and everything. It's also kind of helped me to draw and to paint lots of different things um, because I mean obviously you know some of my paintings I'll just doodle little accessories you know around the main figure but in this way uh, if I like the little accessory that I've drawn or painted. Um, it, I don't necessarily have to pair it uh, with the same fairy or elf or whatever that I was painting around the same time. And it's kind of forced me to include some form of background in my works, even if it's just like some, you know, splashy watercolor and, you know, uh, glitter, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, that's mostly what it's been so far, but it's much more lively than just a fairy on a blank piece of paper, um, in my opinion. It's not that I won't ever do that type of painting again, or that I haven't since. I definitely have, and I still do enjoy it very much. Um, but it is kind of fun that now I have a couple different ways to make paintings, um, which I really appreciate. And obviously, like I mentioned before, I was so into paper dolls when I was little. Um, and I even have two paper dolls in my Kofi shop. And I believe I have, um, oh, actually I do. I do have a, like a fashion doll themed paper doll, like, you know, almost Barbie themed, um, from my May or no, April, maybe April of 2022 Kofi exclusive illustration. Um, I stopped doing Kofi exclusive illustrations the end of that year, but um, it was one of the good ones that I can remember. So if you like paper dolls, definitely go check out my Kofi page because there's a few of them up there and they're pretty cheap. But anyways, it was like super nostalgic for me to be able to work my love of paper dolls back into my artwork. I will admit though, it is scary to have to cut out uh, my fairies like that is the one piece in the entire collage that's not really easily replaceable it's the center of it all if you will um, and in this case it was no different um, but it was especially tense because I really like this fairy um, and I really liked all the little pieces 
Uh, I can actually see looking here. There are a whole bunch that I made in that YouTube video. I don't know what I was on about earlier about none of them popping up in this one. Like, there's a ton of them. Look at them all. Tons of them were my favorites too, like the cinnamon rolls and the cake and everything. It's just great. And then I wanted to do a green background, so I took some gouache and I did like this faux greenery kind of tree bushy looking thing. And uh, I played around with layouts a little bit before I found something I was happy with. This part is so satisfying for me because I love collecting things too. That was part of the reason I loved paper dolls when I was little because whenever I felt like I needed something new for my collection, I could just get out some paper and like make new stuff. Um, and that was part of why I loved like, you know, calico critters and Barbie dolls and things like that too because they were so collectible. <laughs> um, it was just a lot of fun. Even though those obviously cost money, you know, not quite as easy as uh, getting out paper. But um, anyway, uh, I took out a little tacky glue, I think. Maybe this is Mod, mod Podge, but um, anyway, I, I tried to coat these pieces pretty good um, because I was still early on in my sketchbook. And obviously I want my pieces to last, uh, especially through how rough I treat my sketchbooks. Um, and this was pretty fun because I decided to do like an over-under thing with some of the pieces, uh, like the leaves at the top, and I believe there's some at the bottom. Yep, there are some at the bottom that overlap a little bit. Something else my um, enjoyment of collage has encouraged is like multimedia stuff. Obviously, I've been using glitter and glitter glue in my artwork for a long, long time, um, but it really just brings the whole piece together, I think, to kind of have like extra layers and like this very tactile experience to making it. I think I'm going to try to make prints of this piece available at some point, so definitely let me know if you guys uh, would be into that. I'll be sure to announce it here if and when that happens. I'll probably try to get on that within the next week or two just because uh, this painting has been sitting in my sketchbook for quite a while now and I think it's about time I get some spring fairies up. Anyway, before I go, I want to say a quick thank you to my Kofi supporters, Ashley, Savvy, and Tiffany. Your guys' support means the world to me and allows me to keep making videos like this one. If you would like to join my Kofi page, there will be a link in the description box below where you can get all these benefits and so much more. In addition, you can find my Instagram, my Twitter, uh, and all that good stuff. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!